What's crack YouTube Irish Silver Stack here. Just gonna do a list of stuff that I kinda try and get into my diet. I've just gone um shopping and I wanted to show everybody the stuff that I kinda try and eat the most of and showing you that you can eat healthy still on a budget. Um and I'll show you I'll show you meats as well. What I do with my meats is a big bag of meat here, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, first and foremost, I try and get as um, many fruits and vegetables in it as possible. So, pick these guys up. You can get these on a special deal. You'd only be paying 30 cents for a full pack of six if you go looking for them in the right places. They're just as good um, as something that you'd spend, you know, maybe one euro, one euro fifty for a six pack. You can get them on a deal. You just have to look for them. And when they're on the deal, I'll buy two, two packs a week and try and go through the two packs. Um, ginger, I always try and get ginger in, into, my, um, into my diet, even if it's through tea or something. But I've been slacking on it, so I must actually start getting into this. Again, getting stuff on deals. Um, you can get the carrots on deals. I mean, I can get maybe a whole bag of these for 39 cents again. And they're good quality stuff. You just have to look in the right places. i got these mushrooms here. They're quite big. And they were only 30 cents. Same with this head of lettuce, iceberg lettuce. It was only 30 cents. Scallions, um, can't remember, somebody else calls them something else. We call them scallions over here. Spring onions, that's what you guys call them. Got that for 39 cents. Um, brown flakes, try, you know, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for crunching a cornflake, cocoa pops, all that stuff, but I try and get the brown flakes. Don't go and spend huge money on, you know, Kellogg's brown flakes or something like that. Just get the... Whichever the cheapest bran flakes are. You can't fake bran. That's what it is. So get that. Porridge. I go through phases. But I always have some. If you're a prepper, that's a good thing to prep. Uh, I don't prep at all. But um, kale. You know my thoughts on kale. I did a video on it before. It's great. Get that for a euro. Loads of it. Chop it up. And then try and get it into my diet as much as I can. These potatoes. A bag full of these potatoes. Uh, they're baby rooster potatoes. And I got each bag, 39 cents, 39 cents. I'll buy two of them, stick one in the fridge. Um, tuna. This is, um, this is the good tuna from, this, you know, it's a, this is store-bought, so it's from Aldi. And it's the most expensive one they have. But I don't cheap out on the tuna, but I still won't go and buy a brand name tuna. I will buy um, whatever Aldi have on, D, on, on their own uh, line. As long as it's good quality. But cheaping out on tuna can be, um, you know about it once you open it. Buckwheat, I've done a video on buckwheat before. You know, look into it. It's a great substitute for, you know, if you don't want to be um, using pasta uh, or rice. Um, and it's really, really good for you. Lemons and limes, obviously. Bananas. Bread. Keep away from white bread. Try and get, I mean, I try and stay away from... The normal bread, I try and get soda bread or I try and get uh, stone wheat and bread. Uh, I find it the best. Coffee, love coffee. Don't go too crazy on it, I just buy the instant stuff. And of course, I go for the low fat milk. I try and get eggs into my diet as well. Pasta, when I get pasta, I get brown pasta. I know that the white one's way less, you know, you spend a lot less if you get white. You could get a full bag for maybe, the, you know, double this bag in white than for the same price in white. But it's really bad for you. Uh, brown rice, I will go for brown rice. And then I have these little sachets here. And I think I mentioned the eggs. But the whole point of this video was as well how to get healthy stuff, but also how to save. Now, check this out. If you look around for deals, if you go to butchers rather than multiple supermarkets, you can find better deals than you will find in any of the multiple supermarkets. Especially, we've got a very good... Uh, Butcher. He's not local to me. He's about what, 15 minute drive. But he's got these new deals out. And um, right there, look at all that meat. And what I'll do is, except for the sausages, I'll have to eat the sausages within the week or something. But right there, there's a pound of sausages. There's five steak burgers, five chicken breasts, and five. Um, Pork chops, and these aren't just skinny pork chops, these are big, thick, I mean look at them, they're thick pork chops, and also a pound of mince. And what I will do, like I was saying, but not including the sausages, I'll freeze these individually, so then I can take them out, and this might last me over a month. And the whole thing here, 
25 euros. I mean, you can't go wrong. So buying, going in and buying an awful lot will save you money in the long run. What I'll do is I'll divide these up now and we'll have a look and I'll show you how, how I store them. So there you go guys. Just did it up into freezer bags, two breasts in each one for the chicken. And then the pound of mince, just divided that up into three different portions, three different sections. Um, the steak burgers, just two in one, three in the other freezer bag. And then there's two pork chops. Look at the size of them. That's great. And they'll just pretty much go straight in as it shows. Right in there. And then whenever you come the evening before, you think, okay, I want, you know, we're gonna cook with some mince tomorrow. Pick it up, evening before, throw it into the fridge. And it's done. Saving some money that way. And then um, you've still got a meat for a very long amount of time. Also, I've got still the chicken breast, which I'm going to throw in there. And I've also got a pork chop that I'm just going to throw in there. And I'll eat that tomorrow. But tonight, I'm going to have steak. Guys, take it easy. Chat you again. Good luck. Bye-bye.